CC220, uh, also known as ibirdamide or Iber, uh, is a, a new cell mod. So it's basically the next in line of thalidomide, lenalidomide, and pomalidomide as cerebron binding uh, targets. And what we know about the early phase one study is that alone as a single agent, Iber has activity. When you combine it with dexamethasone, the response rate jumps to about 30% roughly. And then that response rate occurs even in patients that are resistant to LEN or POM, both of them, or daratumumab, suggesting that you may be able to overcome resistance through the use of Iber plus dexamethasone in heavily pretreated refractory myeloma. This is really important because we know many patients are seeing these drugs earlier and earlier in the course of disease, and having new treatment options, particularly oral agents, is really an important endpoint for patients and gives them opportunities when other drugs no longer work. Uh, what we know about Iber is that the single agent dose escalation continues. The dose escalation in combination with dexamethasone also continues. It's not clear that we've hit the maximum tolerated dose for both of those. And we're now beginning to explore combinations with DARA and bortezomib based on preclinical synergy. Particularly with DARA, where we see that Iber seems to activate NK cell number and function more potently than POM or LEN, suggesting you may be able to get some synergy with antibody-based therapy as well.